For millions of years humans have adapted to eat a wide variety of foods. Our bodies are wonderful machines, capable of drawing energy from the plants that grow in the soil and the animals that roam the land. However, a new idea has become popular in recent times, the carnivore diet. This is a diet where a person chooses to eat only meat and other animal products, such as eggs and sometimes dairy. They avoid all plants which means no fruits, no vegetables, no grains, and no nuts. This choice represents a dramatic departure from how most people on our planet eat today. It raises a very important question about our biology and our relationship with the natural world around us. The idea behind this all-meat approach is often linked to a belief that our ancient ancestors ate this way. The thinking is that by returning to a purely carnivorous diet, we might unlock better health and avoid the problems associated with modern processed foods. People who follow this diet often speak of increased energy and mental clarity. They see it as a way to simplify eating and connect with a more primal or basic way of living. It is a bold experiment turning one's own body into a living laboratory to test a fascinating hypothesis about human nutrition and what our species is truly designed to consume for fuel. However, this decision is not a simple one. Our modern world is very different from the world of our ancestors. The meat we buy in a supermarket is not the same as the wild game that early humans would have hunted. Farmed animals are raised on specific diets, which changes the nutritional content of their meat. Furthermore, our lifestyles have changed dramatically. We are no longer hunting for our food all day, which requires immense physical effort. Instead, many of us spend our days sitting at desks, using far less energy. This modern context is crucial when considering such a restrictive way of eating. This diet challenges our understanding of what constitutes a balanced and healthy intake of food. For decades, nutrition experts have advised us to eat a colorful plate, full of different plant foods, to get a wide range of vitamins and minerals. The carnivore diet turns this advice on its head completely. It suggests that everything we need can be found within the animal kingdom alone. Exploring this idea means we must look closely at what meat provides, what essential nutrients it might lack, and the potential consequences, both good and bad, for the remarkable human body over the long term. Meat is an incredibly rich source of certain essential nutrients which explains why it has been a cornerstone of human diets for so long. It is packed with high-quality protein, which is fundamental for building and repairing everything in our bodies, from our muscles to our skin. Think of protein as the essential building blocks for life. Meat also provides a form of iron called heme iron, which our bodies can absorb very easily. This is vital for making red blood cells that carry oxygen all around our body. Furthermore, meat is one of the best natural sources of vitamin B12, a nutrient that is absolutely critical for a healthy nervous system and is not found naturally in plant foods. Alongside protein and iron, meat delivers other important nutrients. It contains zinc, which is crucial for our immune system, helping us to fight off infections and illnesses. It also provides a range of other B vitamins, each playing a different role in helping our bodies convert food into energy. For example, some people on a meat-only diet report feeling more energetic, and this could be partly due to the abundance of these B vitamins. The fats found in meat are also a concentrated source of calories, providing the fuel needed for our daily activities. In a world without agriculture, these dense calorie sources would have been incredibly valuable for survival. However, a diet consisting only of meat is notable for what it lacks. The most significant missing component is dietary fiber. Fiber is a type of carbohydrate found only in plant foods like vegetables, fruits, and whole grains. Our bodies cannot digest it, but it plays a critical role in our health. It feeds the trillions of good bacteria that live in our gut, creating a healthy internal ecosystem. This gut microbiome is incredibly important for digestion, immunity, and even our mood. Without any fiber from plants, this community of helpful bacteria can change dramatically, which can lead to problems like constipation and other digestive issues. Another major group of nutrients missing from a meat-only diet is the vast array of vitamins and phytonutrients found in plants. Vitamin C, for instance, is essential for repairing tissues and supporting a strong immune system. While small amounts can be found in organ meats like liver, it is abundant in fruits and vegetables. Plants also contain thousands of compounds called antioxidants which protect our cells from damage. Think of the bright colors in a tomato or a blueberry. These colors are often signs of powerful antioxidants at work. By excluding all plants, a person misses out on this entire team of protective nutrients that work together to keep us healthy. 
Following a diet of only meat can have a significant impact on our health, and the effects can be both positive and negative, especially in the short term. Many people who start this diet report experiencing rapid weight loss. This happens for a few reasons. Firstly, meat is very filling, which can lead people to eat fewer calories overall. Secondly, by cutting out all carbohydrates, the body enters a state called ketosis, where it starts burning fat for energy instead of sugar. For some individuals, especially those struggling with certain health conditions related to sugar consumption, this shift can bring temporary relief and a feeling of well-being. However, there are considerable long-term risks to consider when we remove an entire food group from our diet. As we have seen, a lack of fiber can disrupt the delicate balance of our gut bacteria. A healthy gut is linked to a lower risk of many chronic diseases. Scientific studies have shown that diets high in red and processed meats and low in plant fiber are associated with an increased risk of serious conditions, including heart disease and certain types of cancer, particularly colon cancer. The long-term consequences of consuming no plant matter at all are still not fully understood by science, as large-scale, long-term studies are very difficult to conduct on such a restrictive diet. The absence of plant-based foods also means missing out on their protective benefits. The antioxidants found in fruits, vegetables, and teas help to fight inflammation in the body. Chronic inflammation is believed to be a root cause of many modern diseases from arthritis to heart problems. A diet rich in plants helps to keep this inflammation in check. Relying solely on meat means you are not getting this natural anti-inflammatory support. While some fats in fish like omega-3s can help reduce inflammation, a diet heavy in other types of meat might not provide this same benefit and could potentially contribute to inflammation instead. In summary, while some people might feel better initially on a carnivore diet, perhaps due to eliminating processed foods and sugar, the potential long-term health risks are substantial. Our bodies have evolved to thrive on a variety of nutrients, many of which are exclusive to the plant kingdom. A balanced approach, which includes both animal and plant foods, is what most nutritional science supports as the safest and most sustainable path to long-term health. Choosing to live in a world without plants on your plate is a gamble, and we do not yet know all the rules of the game or the final score. When we look back at our ancestors, the early humans, we find a story of incredible adaptability. They were not exclusively carnivores, instead, they were hunter-gatherers. This means they hunted animals when they could, but they also spent a great deal of time gathering edible plants, roots, berries, and nuts. Their diet would have changed dramatically depending on the season and their location. In colder northern climates, they may have eaten more meat because plants were scarce. In warmer regions, their diet would have been rich in plant life. This flexibility was the key to human survival and expansion across the entire globe. We can also learn by observing other primates in the animal kingdom, our closest living relatives. Chimpanzees, for example, have a diet that is overwhelmingly based on plants, especially fruits. They do hunt and eat meat, but it makes up only a very small fraction of their total food intake. Their bodies are designed to process a high-fiber, plant-based diet. While humans are different and have adapted to eat more meat than chimpanzees, this comparison shows that a diet based entirely on animal products is a significant departure from the diet of our primate cousins. It highlights how unique this modern all-meat diet truly is in the grand scheme of evolution. There are some human populations like the Inuit of the Arctic who have historically survived on a diet consisting almost entirely of meat and fish. This is often used as an example to support the carnivore diet. However, it is important to understand the context. They lived in an extreme environment where plants could not grow. They also ate the entire animal, including the organs, blubber, and skin, which provided a wider range of nutrients than just muscle meat. Furthermore, genetic studies have shown that these populations have developed unique adaptations over thousands of years to help them process such a high-fat diet, adaptations that most other people in the world do not have. In conclusion, the story of human nutrition is one of balance and variety. Eating only meat is a significant departure from the varied diet that our ancestors ate and that most cultures around the world have developed. While meat provides essential nutrients like protein and vitamin B12, a diet without plants lacks fiber, vitamin C, and thousands of protective compounds. This can disrupt our gut health and may increase the risk of long-term diseases. For most people, a diet that includes a rich variety of both plant and animal foods remains the most reliable path to good health. 
honoring the remarkable ability of our bodies to draw nourishment from all corners of the natural world.